Hey guys and welcome. This is going to be a new series called Tutorial Tuesday. I'm going to go quick fire through some of the most common questions I get asked and it's going to be hints and tips relating to anything tech related. Could be drones, cameras, editing, how you do a thumbnail, loads of different topics we're going to cover. If you've got any questions or you want an actual topic covered as well, please just comment on the video and I'll include it at a later date. So the topic I'm going to cover today is a question I get asked a lot, especially from beginners just picking up a DJI drone. It's about how do I change the units on this drone? I use miles per hour all the time and it's in kilometers per hour. I, I want to change it. What's this meters per second? How would I change that? So depending on which country you're in, you might not use kilometers an hour. You might use miles per hour. A lot of European countries and also like Canada, they use kilometers an hour all the time. So they may want to use those units. You might not want to judge the speed in meters per second. So how do we change it? Now, it might seem obvious to you, but to a lot, it isn't. So a really quick, easy tip of how to do this, I will show you how. And it's also worth noting that we're going to be using a DJI Mini 2 as an example today, but this is exactly the same on all the other DJI drones within the DJI Fly app. So let's get on to the actual screen and I'll show you how to do this. So once your drone is connected, you can see on the screen there that I'm showing meters per second and the meters regarding to height and distance. As I go forward, it's showing meters per second. And then as I increase the height, it's also meters per second. I can go into settings, control, and then at the top where it says units, you can change this. So I'm I'm going to change this now to metric so the actual speed now has changed to kilometers per hour but the distance and the height is still within meters so again if you want to change this again to show a miles per hour and then a feet as the height and distance away you can change this to imperial within settings so now my actual speed has changed to miles per hour and the distance has changed now to feet but just be aware when you are swapping and changing settings like this you do adhere to your country's own specific rules in relation to height and distance. So quick tip there, hope you found that helpful. Let's go back. So in summary, I hope you found that helpful. It is really easy to do. Just be aware, whenever a app update or firmware update comes out, it can reset your values that you've set. So your return to home values, your max height, your max distance, but also your units like this, what we just covered today. So if an update comes out as they come out really regularly, and all of a sudden it's now in kilometers an hour or miles per hour, it's because it's probably been reset. So you do have to keep a look on it whenever there is an app update. But see you next Tuesday within this series. Let me know any comments down below what you want to see in the future. But I've got a whole list of different topics coming. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.